Welcome to the third episode of Scriabin's Atonality, where we explore Scriabin's use of the octatonic scale. We'll use examples to discuss Scriabin's utilization of the octatonic scale in terms of modes, transpositions, and subsets. Be sure to watch the previous episodes in the series because the same rules of only using subsets of the superset and the tritone dominant relationship apply to these sets as well. First, let's cover the basics of the octatonic scale, also known as the diminished scale. It's the most even eight-note set that comes from putting two fully diminished seventh chords next to each other. One mode follows the continuous pattern of half-step, then whole-step. The other mode uses the continuous pattern of whole-step, then half-step. Let's listen to an excerpt from Scriabin's final work, Opus 74, number 3, that shows Scriabin utilizing an entire octatonic scale. example where we see Scriabin using an entire octatonic scale melodically. He normally uses subsets of the octatonic scale, and this excerpt ends with one of Scriabin's favorite octatonic subsets, his octatonic hexachord, 6Z49. Hexachord is just a fancy way of saying six note set, and Scriabin tends to use its third mode. This scale is just like the most commonly used mode of the mystic chord with a lowered second scale degree. Here is the chord conveniently based on C used at the end of opus 59 number 2. It doesn't lend itself to fourths voicings as well as the mystic chord, but it's an awesome evil sounding alternative. Let's think about how Scriabin might transpose his octatonic chords. Any guess what transposition levels Scriabin might use to transpose chords from a diminished scale with parsimonious voice leading? If you guessed minor thirds and tritones, you are correct. While a full octatonic scale would retain all its pitches transposed a minor third or tritone away, its subsets like 649 retain four pitches at those transposition levels, making those levels of transposition best for parsimonious voice leading. Here's a clear example of octatonic chords in Sonata 7 transposing a minor third away. This excerpt uses a four note octatonic subset that's like a major and minor triad combined. There are many subsets of the octatonic scale that Scriabin uses. Set 528 that we've discussed as a prominent subset of the mystic chord is also a subset of the octatonic hexachord, making it a linking family member of both prominent supersets. The same goes for the French 6 chord. I want to highlight the most prominent 5 note set Scriabin loved to use from the octatonic scale, 532. Here's the most common mode he used, which is just like Scriabin's octatonic hexachord scale without its last pitch. Does this sound familiar? I've come across this set all over the place from Middle Eastern music to blues. This set is actually a subset of the blues scale. If you start the blues scale on the blue tritone pitch and omit the fourth scale degree, you get precisely this scale. This is also the set that gives us the sharp 9 chord. All that aside, let's check out how Scriabin transposes set 532 in his sixth sonata where he simply plays the scale in order as a motif. At the start of the development section, we see the set transposing back and forth between tritones A and E flat. Then we move up a minor third to C, where it again rapidly transposes between the tritone dominant F sharp. This excerpt shows Scriabin's heavy use of 532 being transposed at the level of a tritone and minor third. Scriabin wasn't known for pioneering scales like the whole tone or octatonic scales because they are even divisions of the octave noticed by previous composers and theorists. 
However, the Mystic Chord and his Octatonic Hexachord are novel sets that Scriabin is known for as they are slight derivations of perfectly even symmetrical sets. I'm not exactly sure why the Mystic Chord is so much more well known since he uses octatonic sets almost just as often. It could be because the Mystic Chord is more consonant and Scriabin gave it a more intriguing name. While some of his pieces like Sonata 6 are based exclusively on the octatonic scale and its subsets, others use a combination of both the Mystic Chord and octatonic sets, and that will be the topic of the next video. What's your favorite use of octatonic chords in Scriabin's music? Let me know in the comments, join the Discord, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.